Alright, so what type of music do you play and what like, your band plays? Uh, the, the style of music I play, it's instrumental guitar, meaning that there's no singer in the band. But what I'll do is I'll sort of emulate what the singer does on the guitar. So if the singer would sing a melody, I sort of play it on guitar. So um, it's instrumental rock guitar. Pretty good. Uh, what instrument do you play? Do you play just the guitar? I just play the guitar, absolutely. I, uh, I wish I would have learned how to sing or play <laughs> keyboards, or, uh, but it's just one thing, it's the guitar. It's the guitar. Um, what age did you start playing? I started playing at age 10, which means I've been playing about 11 years now. <laughs> okay, not. I started playing. Yeah. At, I started playing at age 10, like, like about fifth grade. I started, and uh, uh, I, I heard your dad has said I heard a, a Van Halen song, and I was like, "That's it. I'm done." Like right then, I knew I'd never have a real job. I would have a life of poverty, <laughs> and. Uh, you know, it might be a good chance to meet girls, but uh, in any case, yeah, I was 10. Uh, so, you kind of answered, but what inspired you to start playing, besides the song from Van Halen? Um, I, all joking aside, I really, really, really love music. I really love music, and when, when you hear a great song, or a great riff, or, it, 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 not to be trite, but it really is magical. When you hear it, you're like, wow, that, that's heavy. So, um, I think I just really, really loved music. As a kid, I would listen to radio all the time, and uh, it was it, it was just out of the love of music. Uh, did your parents have anything to do with uh, you they playing? They had nothing to do with me playing. In fact, they uh, they tried to discourage me from <laughs> playing guitar. Uh, and, you know, of course, as parents go, they know, want what's best. They, they they want you to have a real job and real insurance and, and uh, a stable home life and things like that. Um, and I do, I, I guess. But, uh, you know, it's so funny how uh, parents, when you when you talk to them, they're like, oh, you need to get a real job, you need to get insurance, you need to do... So then I do a, a, a show, and then my, my dad's, that's my son up there, that's our, that's our boy. You know, so to me I get one thing, and to the outside world, we get yeah. something else. So, so everyone wins in that situation. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, what are some of your all-time favorite musicians, and did they have any inspiration on you and what you played now? Cool. So you need to be a reporter. So you <laughs> need to be. We ask some good questions. Um, I like uh, I like guitar players, obviously, because that's what I do. So I like uh, Neil Sean, who was in Journey or is in Journey. Steve Lukather, guy that was in Toto or is in Toto. Um, like Brian May from Queen. Uh, there's a guitar player named Michael Shanker. He was in a band called UFO. Like Peter Frampton, I like I, I, I like that era of guitar player where the guitar was real prominent. And they did solos and they had to actually be good to be in a band. And uh, sometimes now, as long as they just tune everything really low and you can't really, it's like you know. So there, there was a, there was it, it was crafting stuff back then. So that that's the era I like for sure. And and they did in fact influence me to play. So a lot of what I play now is, is derivative. I try to hide it as much as I can, but you know, the pros know that sometimes I just steal it from them. But yes, they, they have inspired me. Uh, where has being a musician gotten you today? In the poor house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just totally, I'm joking. Um, you, you know, they, they, they say, they say, if you find something you love to do and do it for your, your job, you never work a day in your life. And that really, really is true. Like, if you really love what you do, which I do, you know, uh, times are tough, things suck, but, you know, like, whatever. You're going to get that in, in life in general. But if you love what you do, that's the greatest gift that you can keep giving yourself day after day. So it, it's really made, made me a happy man throughout the years. Even in my worst times, they're better than me sitting behind a desk or doing something, or do, doing something I don't want to do. That's exactly right. Uh, what countries have you performed in? Wow. Uh, tons, like all throughout Europe. Uh, all throughout Europe. And then really all throughout Asia. Asia's my big market. So, you know, China, China, Korea, 
Indonesia, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, all, all throughout there. So, uh, really, really everywhere in Europe and Asia, I would say. Of those countries, which one has been your favorite to play in? I think each one has a real distinctive uh, crowd. So, uh, Indonesia, they're insane. Like, they're, they're, like, you think, like, you're playing and you, like, you look in their eyes and they're like, there's a riot is going to break out. <laughs> um, Korea, they're, they're really amazing in that. They're, they're really smart and they know the music really well. And they're crazy. So, it's, it's, it's a dangerous thing. When I, when I play Korea, if I play some of my songs a little different, they're on the internet. Oh, you changed it. You messed up. You know, it's it, it, it's pressure. Or um, China, the, the crowds are really, really great. So it, it just it just depends. It depends on like the audience. Yeah, it, it just yeah. But but Asia is I think really accepting of music. Like for what I do in the United States, it's if I was to do a show. Not a Christmas show, but a regular concert. It's a bunch of guitar players coming out, standing around, like, whatever, you know. But uh, when I play over in Asia, it's it's girls and guys coming to listen to the music. So it's, it's a whole different mentality than, than here in the United States. Um, so you play at different to different audiences, like everywhere here and in other countries. Um, would you compare, you kind of already said this, but would you compare their reactions? Like, how would you compare them? I would, just in a general sense, I'd say the United States is, is way more reserved, way more uh, way more standoffish, mm -hmm. way more uh, apathetic. I don't mean that in, a, in a really a negative way, but really apathetic to what's going on. Like, yeah, I've seen that, done that, you know, I'm not... Like, because they've grown up with it, like, they've heard uh, yeah. all the music, but like in different countries maybe it's... Different countries, they, they really, I think they appreciate the music, they appreciate the, the time you've put in, and they they really develop a relationship with the music, they, they know, they know it. So, I, I think overseas, for me, and, and my take on music, it's, it's more respected and revered when it's not in the United States. How do you describe the music that you play? Like, give me some like description words of how you. Um, some that's happy. No, I'm cool. yeah. Um, I'd say I'd say some of it is happy. I like uh, I like a lot of like big melody things. So I'd say maybe dramatic if I could if I could use that word with my music. Um, some of it's moody. So I think I, I think there's a thread of melody, you know, that goes with that throughout it. But it kind of invokes different moods with different songs. Yeah. So are you happy with what you're doing? Yes. Um, I really, truly wouldn't want to do anything else. I I, I can't say that there's many times I'm like, oh, I just want to quit. You know. However. It, it never comes to that. I really, really do love what I do, and, and like, here's what I think. Of, I think of it. I think of it is like every day, as like a, I hold a lottery ticket, you know, and I can win the lottery every day, or I, I cannot. So if if I write a, a good song, or have a good recording session, or I do a good show, then I just uh, I just I just hit the lottery, you know. So that's what I love about my life is I never really know but, there, but there's so much potential to do good things that I, I that's what I love about it. What's the best advice you can give to someone who wants to be a musician? You have to do you have to play what's in your heart and I know again that sounds like a trite thing to say but like if there's a don't play what's popular don't play what you think people want to hear you play don't don't play for any other person but yourself because if you make yourself happy with your music then people pick up on that and you always say true imagine like if if an artist did a record and they and they did they did the record for everyone else but for them well I need to add this song I need to play like this it has to sound like this or this person so now the record's a flop you sold five copies or, and, and no one wants to hear it and now the artist is like I sold out I, if I would have just been true to myself, 
did exactly what I wanted to do and let them come to me, no matter how long it takes, I think that's the biggest thing. So just be true to yourself on it. That's it. Yes.